This video contains all of Shonda Vander Ark's calls while she was awaiting trial in Muskegon County Jail. Shonda was found guilty of murder and child abuse in the death of her disabled son, Timothy Ferguson, who was 15 years old at the time of his death. Timothy's older brother, Paul Ferguson, pled guilty to first-degree child abuse. Timothy died from starvation and hypothermia on July 6, 2022 due to the abuse he endured from his mom Shonda and brother Paul. They fed him bread soaked with hot sauce, forced him to take ice baths, wouldn't let him sleep, and locked all food away from him. In these calls, the only person Shonda personally speaks with is her friend. You will hear them talk about Shonda's murder case, custody of her son, PTSD, commissary, the death of her children's stepfather, and more. Take a listen. Hello, this is Hello? a prepaid collect call from Donna Vanderark. An incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To accept charges and consent to this recorded call, press 1. To refuse charges, thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hey, can yeah, you hear me? Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. Boy, yeah. I gotta hold this thing close to my face. It said that our phone call is being recorded. Yeah, it did. Yep. So, um, but it also said, it also said press something, uh, to make this private or something. I don't know. So, I'm gonna have to, next time you call, I'm gonna have to see what the heck that's all about. Okay. Did I wake you up? Well, <laughs> you weren't the first. That's okay. I'm sorry. No, nah, all right. You weren't the first. And my daughter had me up first. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't first, but I still know that about waking you up. <laughs> That's all right. I <laughs> kept hitting news or whatever. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you need money? I tried to call it to work. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, I, I know. I woke up and went, oh, crap. She didn't call me yesterday. <laughs> she needs money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, you took over Monday. It's just Monday, right? Yeah, yeah it's Monday. Monday. Okay. Is it tomorrow a oh. holiday? No, today was. Oh, it was today. Okay, that's why you weren't. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I just yeah. assumed you work Monday through Friday, I guess. But huh? maybe you don't. You work what? Monday through Friday? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's we worked thought. today. We didn't. We didn't have today off. Yeah. So. So. And we're busy as hell because we got uh October fifteenth deadline coming up for taxes, so Yeah. Yeah. Crazy so we get crazy jobs on the questions and shit. Anyway. We still have no so, Oh jeez. It'll be coming. I know, I hope. Sorry, I interrupted you. You're starting to say something. No, okay. Um so I was rather pissed at at um uh, Fred, he didn't have the, he's like, oh, I can't get into the drive that has the autopsy on it. I'm like, what the hell? I am important. My husband yeah. does more research. Okay. He said, malnutrition alone is not intent. So. Okay. Um. But there were other things I read in the police report that sound like, oh, shit. Yeah. So, um, I don't know until I get the damn autopsy. Yeah. And I asked him if he could send it to Norm. He said, I can't. I can't send it to you, you know, because you're not an employee. Blah, blah, blah. I said, what about sending it to Norm? I can get to Norm's office easier to look at it. Norm is a yeah. public defender. And so yeah. he said, yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. But I'm like, okay, okay. he thinks he can, so God knows if he can or not. You know? Yeah. But, no, oh the only God. two issues I have heard mentioned was for malnutrition and hypothermia, which, yeah, we talked about the other day. This, this makes no sense, but. Yeah. Um, but this was a police report. <laughs> so, yeah. People don't always know what they're talking about or what they're seeing. No, they don't. Yeah. So. so and we're that's recording, that's so. Yeah. That's why I was leaving it there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but I read everything. Well, that's good to so, hear, okay. I read everything, but I didn't get to see like the most important shit. 
So, yeah, um, my husband's given me cases to research. I will email them to you. Um, okay. And he also sent me his research on PTSD. So I haven't gotten okay. into it yet. I've been so freaking busy. Ridiculous. Yeah. And I got um, homework. You should be able to. Oh, sorry. I keep interrupting. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, no, go ahead. You should be able to mark things to me legal mail now. Okay. Do I just write on the front legal mail? Yep. Okay. All right. So, hey, if you do that, maybe get a magazine and turn off the pages. <laughs> Is that bad? I don't think I can do that. As long as you got legal mail in there. <laughs> uh, I'm hopeful, aren't I? Well, the, the book I got from the book cart Wednesday, I have read seven times, and it is like 550 pages, and it's really small. It's a good book, but, yeah, I'm done reading it. <laughs> so. Maybe you can get War and Peace or something that'll last you a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't even know what that book is about, honestly. War and Peace, other than War and Peace. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you said war. I thought you said One Piece. I'm like, one war piece and, and what? Peace. It's supposed to be like oh. a really big, huge book. Yeah. I don't see. My favorite book is Stop the Wind, which is over a thousand pages. And the first time I read what? it, I was like, Gone with the Wind. Oh, okay. Um, favorite book, favorite movie. And the first time I read it, I was nine, ten, ten. And I read it in about four and a half hours. So, um, yeah, I read fast. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Good thing you have in law school. Yep. Although that's, you you never read as fast for case law. (laughs) That does slow you down a little bit. But still probably better than most. But, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so nice to have see you. Yeah, you too. You were just trembling when I hugged you, girl. Oh, and it's not been easy. Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying. So yeah, I, and I don't see. He thinks that that shit's gonna happen by December. I don't see that happening. I just don't. I, you know, Lydia keeps better track of that because Lydia said if they are still working on the 2020 cases. Mm-hmm. That means they'd have to get through 2021 and yep. half of 2022. Mm-hmm. This is not a small county. Mm-hmm. It's a high crime. And plus, yeah, it is. And we're going to have to do a change of venue. So that's going to take time. It's not happening. But I mean, I would love it for the first of the year, but I'm being realistic. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's happening. No. No. So. I don't either. <laughs> but hopefully we'll have a soon. I think oh I think gosh. West Rome was fifteenth we turn it on, but I I could be wrong. I'll have to ask my husband. It's my worry the, same. the girl next to me, I did they did I did get to move one room over where I can look outside. The problem is that I look right into the courthouse parking lot and I work with these people for months. So I don't want to look out when they're going in and out, you know. Oh yeah. Um uh, I can at least see the sunshine, which is nice. Yeah. Or calm. Um but uh one of the girls that's been here before, several times, said that during the winter, they basically don't turn the heat on. Like, you just have to deal. And I said, oh, no, trust me. I said, oh, if that happens, I'll be calling Ashley and having her file a complaint. Because that's not okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, like, the last they three days, don't I have turn it warned, up very high. Yeah. They're going to have to turn it somewhere. They can't complain at me for 71 degrees in my house and put us at, like, 50, you know? But the last three days, I have worn two, um, what you call it, um, long john shirts, long johns under my pants, and the, the orange pants, and I'm still cold under the blanket. And they, get, they haven't given you a coat yet? You don't have a jacket? They don't give coats here. Nope, they don't do that. How long do they not get jackets? I don't know. Well, because you don't, don't have to go well, what do you, yeah, yeah, but what if you have to go to the medical or something? They cover you up. There's a medical office in the building, but if you have to go to the hospital, then that's up. Paramedics have to deal with it. Oh, yeah, they got blankets. Wow. Yeah, but I got going to the summer really thin, so I don't see how they justify all this, but it's just me. So. Oh, well. Yeah. So. They suck. Yeah. They just suck. Yeah, I've heard Muskegon County is one of the worst in the at least in this area, so, yeah. But, oh, well. Okay. 
So, so yeah. even though it's not going to make a shit of difference, yeah. because every side's going to know it. Um, we, I found something that we can, if we need to impeach Eric, we can. Okay. Um, he said, conflicting story. Mm-hmm. He had a vasectomy. Yeah, that's not and true. That, and that you begged him to get it reversed so you could have kids. Yep, he told other people that. That's not true. I was the one that had surgery. Or at least not that you know of. Unless if he was well, screwing around a lot. If he was screwing yeah. around a lot, then... Maybe. Um, maybe he had one without you know. Oh, that, that would be pretty friggin' hard to do. You know, because I handled the finances, and I would have gotten the medical bill. Okay. Okay. So, so that's something we can impeach him with if we need to, if that, that yeah. could be helpful. Yeah, somebody else said that. And I was like, no, no, I'm the one that got the surgery, not him, because I got it the day after Kimothy was born. It was a miserable yeah. recovery. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I had my dental so. while I had it right after my C-section. So during Yeah, I did that C-section. Yeah. Okay. Nope. So, well, there's something else you can impeach on. Well. I mean, I don't know what he said to whoever, but the whole, well, I can, I could have given Timothy to anybody. No, based on the exit order down in Oklahoma, he couldn't, he, he, he didn't have the freedom to do that. So hmm. when you said that the other day, I was like, no, 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 but I got distracted, of course. Mm-hmm. But so, okay. oh yeah, no, and, and from everything I understand, Fred fully intends to go after him hard. Okay. So, which works for me. Okay. And, and I didn't yeah. think I didn't think the rest of the story was that bad though it really wasn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but there was some stuff that Patricia said that mm-hmm. kind of corroborated yep. some of the proposed findings. Oh, okay. Um, even no, though even gonna... though it it just it made it made it made some stuff make sense. And it's like she she had no idea, I don't yeah. That is that good or bad? Anyways. Um, uh, maybe good. Okay. Um, I think there's probably like they had to lock things up. Um, you know they had yeah. to lock food up and stuff, and they had issues. Okay, yeah, yeah, that I knew. Yep, yep. yep. But there's more to it. So yeah, the thing that was kind of important. So, um, okay. yeah. But we'll talk about it next time. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. And yes, my feel is going to call him and he's going to say, oh, I can't, I can't email it to him because he's out of our county or some bullshit. So I'm going to have to make him yeah. a little bit of this. He was so excited to have you helping. So it's like, come on, dude. I can't help if you don't give me the info. I mean, I got 20 years of medical experience, man. I can, I can tear that shit up. Yeah. So that's important. Yep. And the photos, all the photos of everything. So. Yeah. Really important. Yep. That's all so. Well, I'm sorry I, I did wake you up, but okay. it's really good to talk to you. Yeah. I'm going to work on my homework some more. <laughs> um, I hang up on my husband sometimes, too. Do <laughs> what? I hang up on my husband sometimes, too, if I'm really tired. Oh. Yeah, but like, oh, I do Good night. <laughs> so, yep. Hit the hit the snooze or the quiet button, whatever. Yeah. But my daughter, she comes barreling in and Mom, can I talk to you? I'm like, Oh, are you sleeping? No, I just I just lay in the dark for fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. I got accounting homework I can do. So. <laughs> oh. Have fun with yeah, that. Yes. Okay. Accounting for lawyers, my LL and I'm in taxation. Yeah. I just finished mar- medical marijuana taxation, which I'm like totally against marijuana and medical marijuana and all that crap, but it's the only thing that would fit my schedule. But I was actually yeah. surprised. I learned I learned some stuff that I think could be useful in the rest of legal stuff. So You have one minute okay. left. Yeah, yeah. Was, interesting. Yeah. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Can you blanket well, the blanket or anything? No. Nope. Nope. So, no, about a certain number of things, items. 
yeah, you're only supposed to have one blanket, but nobody knows how to because the way I have them put together. So, yeah. But, oh, well. I just stick under the blankets all day. Boring, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, you can mm. push up. Sit up. I would be pushed up. Sit up. Crunches. Yeah, crunches. Will be better for your back than sit ups. But I'm order I'm gonna order Fun? another Sudoku. Huh? Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Hey girl. Hey. How you doing? Uh completely depressed at the moment. You what? I said I'm really depressed at the moment. Oh. I understand. Did, did I call too soon after work? Did what? Did I tell you? Oh, by the way, I haven't, my fault, I haven't called Eric, um, no, no, but no, your, bro- your brother's phone number is wrong. Okay. That's why you haven't been able to get through, it's wrong. Okay, so the, that's wrong? Whatever you gave me is wrong. Okay. Um, so let me, let me double check. I think I can look while I got you in here. Okay. Um, Unless I just trashed it, it was wrong. Okay. Yes, it's wrong. Very okay, close that's the old number. Okay, that's okay. the old number, so we don't even, we got to get this new number. Okay, okay. well, I'll quit trying to call that number, too. Yeah, and don't quit being frustrated. Yeah. And you were, so, you were probably thinking he didn't want to talk to you or something. Not the case. I was like, I, well, and that's, I've been told that he's trying to get a hold of me. I'm like, um, so, um, you might try to call your parents to get Nolan's yeah. number. I can do that. So they'll, they'll have his yeah. new number, but they should have Nolan's, so. Okay. But, um, anyway, I, get it. I did get a sub. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was good. I um, cause you know you learn which guards are helpful and which ones aren't. So I got a second blanket last week. I mean, hey, it's man. not. It's better than it was. But then now all, all I want to do is spend all day under my blankets because I'm cold. Cold, yeah. You well, know, hopefully in a couple in the next couple of weeks they should be turning on the heat. Usually the middle of October they get done. We're in Michigan. Come on. I know. No. But then sometimes it'll get warm, and then it'll be it'll be like, oh, and the heat's on, so then you're sweltering. It doesn't get warm much in October. The years I've been here. Usually September goes up and down, but by October, it's like, okay, it's going to stay cooler. No. Yep. It sucks. So, yeah. It just sucks all the way around the way. It sucks. Yep. And it's going to get really cold, sweetie, on Friday. I think the high is going to be 48. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, so get, okay. get the long johns out and your sweatshirt and whatever you've got. We don't get sweatshirts. We get long johns. Well, we, you have to buy long johns, but people gave me a couple of sets, and then I traded for a set a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And so I'll just hear those. But, oh, gosh, yeah, we don't get sweatshirts. That would be nice. Um, great. Well, and here's the thing. It's not like, you know, going out in the pod or out time is boring by yourself anyway, but at least, you know, I, I've been up the stairs. I can go talk to her at the door, but when it's cold in here, in my room, it's really cold out in the pod. I'm like, yeah, I'm not leaving my room. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. In fact, I can wrap my blanket. I'm not supposed to take her blankets out there. What, what do you expect me to do? Right. So I'm sorry. I'm complaining. It's just, no, no, you got to vent somewhere. So I got my, so I okay. I got my certificate. Shit, mm-hmm. where did I put it? Where did I put it? Shit. Um. Anyway, I got my certificate, and there was supposed to be my bar card in there, and there was no bar card. I emailed them, and I haven't heard back. But uh-huh. um, I don't know. I, I should be able to mail email the. I got to shrink it down a little bit, but email the certification thing that says you are a member of the the bar blah 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 I'm just telling yeah. it whatever and they should accept that yeah. but it doesn't have my uh it doesn't have my attorney number but I can give her that separately but anyways I'm going to call yeah. them for my, 
find out what the heck the deal is with that, where it is, and okay. why. I'm sure they have a small card that goes, you know, that you can yeah. carry with them. Yeah. So it has that. Yeah, and get this last week. So Wednesdays, usually the uh, book cart comes, right? Yeah. Well, I heard it in the pod next door. They never came to us Wednesday. Oh, I'm like, okay, of all people, you should be visiting us every week like you're supposed to because we're the ones that are really bored. Mm-hmm. And we didn't get it Wednesday. That's hard. when You can hear it next door and they don't come see you. I was a little missed. So, yeah, and that's the chaplain of all people. I'm like, like go, hey, hello, can you come over here, please, please? Yeah, I just I don't have I, – if, if anything like that happens again, I'll hit the button on the intercom and say, hey, I hear they're next door, and they're not here yet. They should be here by now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but, happens, yeah. so, yeah, long week. Didn't feel like writing, which probably didn't help either, but – like I said, I just curl up under the blanket right now. It's like, yeah. So, and Lydia didn't come for her normal visit last week. She mm-hmm. just didn't. No, I don't know why. I'll probably find out when she comes this week, but she didn't come. And so not only have I had very little pod time because it's so cold, I haven't even gotten out of my room. So, yeah, I was just like, oh, I can't win this week. So is it <laughs> warm? Is it warm? Hours. Is it- is it warm when you go to go where you get to go see somebody? Is it warm in there? It's warmer than the pod. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. Bring bring a long sleeve or a sweater because even during the the summer it's pretty chilly in those rooms, but it's not nearly as bad as what we're dealing with. Yeah, because people would complain too much, you know. I know my that too. So, um, so I will get that stuff. I will get that stuff emailed in to her tomorrow. I know where it is. It's in my okay. car. I haven't got that okay. in my car yet. Um, but yeah, so I had a good trip. <laughs> yeah, I did. Week? Actually, actually, this is really strange, and I don't know if it has to do with you or my husband, but maybe both. So, uh, all the judges, or all the Supreme Court uh, justices, they all um, had something to say, you know, before before we got yeah. our thing. And uh, so there was only I was in the back, so I'm the shortest, and I can't see anybody except one one justice I can see. And she is really resonating what she's saying. She's like, my kids, you know, make fun of me because I had so many jobs before this. And this is the the greatest blessing, job's the greatest blessing, but it's also uh, got the most responsibility and blah, blah, blah. So afterwards, we're out in the hallway. She was talking to somebody. And when she got finished, I, I said, I just wanted to shake her hand. Thank you, because that meant a lot to me. And I said, my kids, my boys always... Um, made fun of me for having so many different jobs and thought that was so yeah. bad. And, and we talked and she had been, uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. And she had been, she had, she grew up in Wisconsin and I said, uh, Oh, so you're cheesehead, huh? And, um, she stopped. There was silence for a minute. Like, Oh shit. I just called a, a Supreme court. That was a cheesehead. <laughs> and she's like, Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm a cheesehead. <laughs> she, it was like, she had to stop saying, I thought I had offended her. But it wasn't. Oh, no. It was his show. Yeah. So anyway, so so then she just says to me, "Hey, when you get your stuff transferred up to Michigan, you would like," she said. My best friend is the chief justice of the Supreme Court up there. She said, "Give me a call. I will remember your name. I will remember you. Give me a call. I will give her a call, and she will swear you in in her chambers." And I'm like, oh, "Holy cow! Okay." Thank you. That's cool. cool. Evidently, I did. Yeah. Evidently, I did. I didn't offend her too bad. I guess. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Congrats. So, so, Supreme Court justices know governors, and Supreme Court justices know a lot of people that. Oh, oh before I forget. Before I run out of time, um, and I was going to tell money? Lydia this last week. Well, that too. Yes, please. Um, okay. but. Actually, no, this was something else. I was going to tell Lydia, and I'll still tell her, but, you know, I can't do much research, but I can do a little bit here and there. One of the symptoms of PTSD is dissociation. Like, you don't know what you're doing, you don't remember it. And I have all these gaps in my memory since the stroke. Okay. And I I didn't know what caused them until after the PTSD diagnosis. 
And so okay. Lydia had made several comments previously. I mean, it's been a while. She's like, you know, hopefully we can get your memories back. And da, 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 cause it, but if it's related to a mental illness, then it, doesn't that destroy intent? Mm. Or am I just so tired I'm not thinking? Because they have to prove a series of intent in this case. This is not a one time. They have to prove it in a series. If you've got dissociation coming up and going, I mean, you can't do that. Right. Is my brain actually functioning for once? I would think I would think it would poke a really big hole in it. Yeah. So, so okay, I heard that last week. But I'll, I'll yeah. tell her when I see her this week. But I wanted to pass that yeah. on to you because I was like, okay. oh, oh, oh. Well, if Fred would ever get me this stuff, it would be oh, yeah. really freaking nice. Call him and bug him. So, I called him again last week. Okay. Yeah. So I just, I mean, I was looking stuff up and found that and went, oh, my gosh, that's why I have these gaps in memory. It's from the PTSD. And wait a minute. There's a case law that says, and I should have written stuff down. I was so tired. I just, yeah. They still aren't helping me to sleep. Go figure. Okay. Go on. Okay. Okay. I know that I had pieces of my memory missing from my abuse uh, from my brother-in-law. And it's like, I didn't even know that the pieces of memory were missing until yeah. my pastor started asking me, because he was counseling me, and he started asking me, well, what happened this time? What happened? I'm like, I don't know. I, I can't tell you the sequence of yeah. stuff. I can't tell you when that was happening or when this was happening. So I totally get that. Um, I was never well, diagnosed so with PTSD, but I can't. Yeah. Well, and it, it's happened so, it happened so often, especially because any time it's high stress or high anxiety since the stroke, I mean, that's the only reason I know that there's gaps is because it was, it's pretty often, and I just didn't think much of it at first, and it started to kind of freak me out, and then everything happened, and then I was like, and, you know, I told the, I told people, like Lydia and stuff, there's, I don't, she did ask me questions, like, I don't remember, and, you know, a couple times she said, well, hopefully you get your memories back, but then the more I looked into PTSD, and, and I knew I was, I mean, I've heard of this symptom before, but I just, it's been a while since I trained a PTSD service dog, and I was like, wait a second, holy crap, when I looked it up last week, I was like, oh my gosh, hello, mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. different when it's a mental illness causing it, and you have no clue, you have no control over what you're doing, that's different mm -hmm. than, oh, I just don't remember, mm -hmm. but when it's like mm -hmm. a trauma or mental, that's different, and I was like, hello, there's their whole case gone. Mm. Whatever, I don't care what they got at this point. Mm hmm. But I um, wanted to pass that on to you. So, okay. All right. I wish you would just hurry up and get it to me so I can, like, get going on stuff, you know? Come on. Yeah. yeah. So, I'll mention it to Lydia when I see her this week. I should see her either tomorrow or Thursday. She alternates between Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, but when I do see her, I'll mention that as well. Okay. So. A couple of things. She, just from what I was able to piece together from things I've seen and things you've told me stuff, I asked her a couple of things and I was dead. I was spot on. So that's good. Um, so anybody yeah. should be able I'm to figure to that out. Case. Give the correct information. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying not to stress about the case, at least. Just about being cold and not getting books when they're supposed to. <laughs> so I'm just leaving that with y'all. I'm like, okay. I've got to learn to ask for help. I'm just going to, okay. I'll leave it alone. So, yeah. I love y'all. Thank you so much. I love you, too. And I'll get you some money oh. tonight. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah. I'm getting some tennis shoes this week with commissary with that. Oh, yay. You can order tennis shoes, yeah. So. That's a good one. Yeah. And you got it. And you got like a pair of socks. Do I? That's good. That's good. And you got a couple of pairs of socks. You have one so minute left. Bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's our one minute warning. That's okay. Yeah. I paid some extra money to talk to you this week. So I was like, I really want to talk for a few minutes. So, okay. mission accomplished there. All right. All right. Well, I got my Lexus back since I'm back at school. So I can mm -hmm. do more research, better research. Okay. So. All yeah. right. It's well, me not to have them left. I miss yeah. you too. I'm going to see you soon, sweetie. Yes. See you soon. And thanks for doing that tonight. No worries. Thank you. All right. So. Talk to you later.
All right, love you. All right. I love you. Take care, honey. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Hey. Hey you. Hey. Sorry for not calling last week. I normally I have a couple of panic attacks a week. I had a bunch last week and I was just not having a good week. You had a what last week? Panic attacks. Oh. Um, with the uh, PTSD. <clears throat> okay. I wonder. I was beginning to wonder out for your psych evaluation or something. Do what? I was beginning to wonder if they shipped you out for your psych evaluation or something. But my husband said no, no. that's just a day thing. Yeah. No, that's uh we're waiting on the results so um but no this long week. I finally did get to meet with Health West on Thursday morning though. So what hopefully what they thing? get the Health oh. West. It's um community mental health. They call it not health West handles it here. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I was starting to wonder. I didn't get any, any uh, email back from you or nothing, and I thought, shit. Send an email last night. Or? Sorry. Uh, oh, no. Um, send an email last night, but it hasn't sent yet, of course. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah, it's part of that email. Yes, they've turned the heat on, but there's two pods, apparently, that stay cold all winter, no matter the heat or not. Just with the options I'm in. Oh, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, I was talking to one of the day time cards today, and it's day seven. And I said, if it keeps up, I'll give you the side blanket. And she said, if you need one, just let me know. I'm like, okay. The same one, oh, give wow. me the second blanket. Yeah. So, well, because literally, I don't want to get out from under my blankets all day. It's cold. And it's better yeah. out in the pod than it is in a room. And so, you know, they offer out time for out in the pod, and I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm not moving. Oh, the last so. tomorrow, if you get outdoors, go outdoors. It's been in the 70s. It's been beautiful. We don't get to go outside. Oh, at all? Our outside is only, no, not at all. Our outside is only out in the pond. I have not seen the outside since I got here. Oh, gee. Yeah, that's... Especially as winter comes in here, it's really depressing because it's overcast so often. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. but hopefully, um, Health West, they, they are looking into sleep meds and getting my, me on my ADHD meds and maybe some anti-anxiety stuff as well. So. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, they're working on it. Plus, they, you know, I ran out of contacts just before I got here and I didn't, I, I don't even know where my glasses are at this point. But um, mm -hmm. one of the ladies that I met with, I apparently wear the same prescription as her. And so she's like, I just got to get command to approve it, and I'll just give you a pair of my old glasses for now. I'm like, thank you. It would be nice to not have everything worry. Yeah. So, how do you read for crying out loud? I'm, I'm nearsighted, so I can read up close, but I can't oh. see anything far away. So oh. we'll give it a few right. more years. Yeah. Give it a few more years. Yeah. You'll be able to read without them. Yeah. That's what I keep saying. Oh, you'll have to do my vocals. <laughs> Yeah, so we had HHS worker come in because they come in every couple of weeks, and um, she's supposed to be getting my me my brother's phone number. Okay, so she's going to send that to Lydia. I'm like, okay, because after this week, I guess they stopped the weekly deposit. I don't know what happened there, but I can't call them anyway. So I'm like, well, after this week, I have to make the money from this week last for two weeks for commissary. Okay. I, won't run, I won't do anything other than commissary for two weeks. So. It's like, okay, I have to get a hold of him, y'all, because I'm not eating the crap. They, I'm sorry. I'm not eating the stuff here. I can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm just right. not to leave you. Want send you 150 today? Yes, please. And then that'll okay. be it until we get David. Okay. So I'm not going to send anything else. I'm like, eh. I don't know. Well, why, did he, why did he stop sending money? It's the we talked about where the weekly deposit came. I'm trying to be careful on here. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, because this we talked family members so that's over ninety. It's such a pain in the butt sometimes. Mm -hmm. And she's a control freak. That's why she okay. probably decided, oh, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So okay. Not only right. do I not have a phone number, I don't feel like talking to her right now. Yeah, and neither one of them emailed me back. Yeah, so. that's. Uh, I'm just waiting because the DHS worker has talked to my brother apparently, and I guess he's trying to get a hold of me. I'm like, well, that's great. It, I need his number. So she's yeah. supposed to be emailing that to Lydia, who's going to turn around and give it to me. So 
So I'm going to call Lydia um, tomorrow. I've got a couple extra bucks that I haven't transferred over the phone yet, so, so I can call her and get that, hopefully. So, Do they have any kind of job in there you could do? No. Nope. Do they not do jobs in the county? They don't do that in county. Once mm-hmm. you're sentenced, you could be a trustee, but obviously I'm hoping I would get there. I couldn't do anything yeah. like that now anyway. You just an extra days credit for that. So I help him hand out food and clean the pods and stuff. But I did ask about that a few weeks ago just because it would be something to do. And they said, no, can't do that yet. I'm like, oh, lovely. But I did find one other guard has, let's see, Thursday night, I think it was, figured out how to get some books. So I got a couple ah. of books. I'm just waiting for her to come back. And I'll switch them out. So uh, it's like, oh, yay, finally. Some, and I'm going to ask her, another class, well, how do we do that? Excuse me, how do you think I know how you do it? I mean, really? Mm-hmm. Why are you asking me? So I'm going to ask her what she does to go get them, and then I'll be able to tell them. Tell yeah. us how to do it, and we'll go do it for you. Um, you're asking me to tell you how to do it? Really? <laughs> I don't know. It's your job. I just know I asked for them. <laughs> so, yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing good going on. I actually, I found a podcast tonight. I just happened to search the podcast for PTSD. I was just bored. And it's called Anxiety Slayer for people with PTSD, panic attacks, mm-hmm. stress, anxiety. Just found it tonight. Yeah, they got some good stuff in there. So, that's nice. You know, tablets are on. Huh? Good. Well, yeah. Um, Evidently, uh, Fred never sent anything, of course. So of course I'm going to have to come back over there and say, hey, Fred, oh, get your head out of your fucking ass yeah. and get me the shit that I need. Yeah. So, yeah if you got a few extra minutes, you can come see me again. I could come back too. Um, I always take the human interaction. They, the, the jail won't let the intern over without somebody supervising them because he's going to send an intern once a week. Just for face, you know, to give me time right. to see, to spend time with somebody, and they can't do that. Supervising every time, so yeah. But, yeah. Um, All right. So I'm going into. Huh? Yeah, it's been beautiful. Nice. It's absolutely beautiful. So I've been trying to get everything done that I need to get done, and. Yeah. Yeah, my email said, Oh, I'm sorry, about your roommates and your daughter, geez. What's with people? Your roommates what? Your roommates from your email? Oh good oh yeah, yeah. Good lord. I got um one that looked at new room today, a new potential new roommate, so I think she's gonna take the basement room. And then okay. I have another one that wants to probably take the other room that I have for rent and I just rented out the other one. So it's like been a whole new turnover of people. Yay. So yeah. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm actually looking at yeah. a house in Flint. I might move to Flint. Oh. We'll see. We'll see. Like when? December. Oh geez. Um yeah, it's like an executive really nice house. Um five bedroom Five baths, nice. pool, hot tub. Wow. The prosecuting attorney lives across the street, and it's all attorneys and doctors on the street. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and so I could do my assisted living there easily, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen pictures of anything but the outside so, so far, but I applied and prayed mm-hmm. about it and said, God, what do I do, you know? Um, yeah. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yep. It'll be closer to my my boys and and I can see yeah. my grandkids because my daughter oh. hasn't told me where she's moving so because she's pissed off at oh. she, whatever it is. Whatever. Oh, yes, I, yeah, yeah. So I'm still trying to get her to finish up getting the shit out of the house because oh. um we got until November second, but I've had to do so many things on it repair wise just to yeah. try and get my money back, you know? Yeah. So, dang. Jeez. Never dull, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. Good Lord. She got a lot of her stuff out, but there's still stuff. And there was, and then they had an overflow 
of a toilet and or, I don't know, oh. there was a water main break out front, so probably the two in conjunction with each other, put sewer in the basement. She lost a bunch oh, of stuff. No. She's fighting with the insurance company trying to get her insurance to pay for her loss, you know, her items that yeah. were full of crap. And oh. um, just one thing after another. Yeah. I understand that. So, yeah, Flynn's not that oh. it's, yeah, it's an hour and a half, but. Yeah. Or whatever. I'll still come see you. It doesn't mean you're going to be there yep. forever. If they're able to get you transferred, um, they'd like okay, to transfer you yeah. over to the east side of the state. But Glint's just yeah. about the middle, so, you know. Yeah. Here's something. Um, It'd be nice if the prosecutor realized, hey, there's a really big problem with this case now with the PTSD issue. But mm-hmm. I don't um, see that happening. My mm-hmm. husband also found, hang on, if we got time for this, if we got time. Oh, come on. Um, he found a case where mm-hmm. malnutrition alone cannot be used as intent, intent to kill. Okay. So nice. that could negate a lot of things, too. But yeah. um, I haven't even read the case yet. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Um, okay. People. You can send the site in an email. We've got a little bit of a law library on our tablets. I mean, it's not great, but. Okay. Mason. Probably interesting reading. Sorry, I interrupted. Did I lose um, you? You're fading in and out. Oh, can you hear me? That's because I hit mute yes, accidentally no, with my, my ear. Okay. Um, anyway, it's Mason versus Win. M A I S O N. Um, stems from people versus Mason. But one is guilty of first degree child abuse if that person wrongly or intentionally causes serious physical or serious mental harm to a child. Um, yeah. People versus Ackley. Accordingly, we conclude that counsel's efforts to investigate and attempt and secure suitable expert assistance, da 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 um, da 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 Let's see. Anyways, he said... You have one minute he, left. He said read both of them, so I'll, I will cut and paste this whole thing to you so you can read it. Okay. Hopefully. Um, okay. it might be of help. Yeah. So I'll, um, I'll also, uh, send it to Fred. Thank okay. Him. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Uh, they need to fix our fucking phone calls because that's pissing me off. They said yeah. that they, they were right and they're not. So, no. No, they're not. Yeah. All right. All right. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Take it easy. Stay warm. I will try. Yeah, I'll try. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful. If you can put your nose out a window somewhere, that would be awesome, I'm sure. Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. Hey there. Hey, girl. Uh, Once again, I only have a few minutes, but, you know, fun, fun. Um, I got you. I, just, I wanted to check in with you. Um, they screwed up my budget. They apparently charged you for your medications, and they just took out my monthly meds, which wasn't huge, but it was like, well, there went everything I had. So I was going to see if I could do a little extra this week just because I like my budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So so I did um, – I, I couldn't do a transfer into my account because okay. when I got to that point, they wanted your debit card. Okay. <laughs> of course. Of course. So, so I tried. Uh, I paid my Xfinity accounts with it. Okay. And um, I'll have to wait to see if it comes back. But yeah. Um, uh, what I'll I'll send you a hundred. Okay, that's fine for now. Um, that should I'm get sorry. you by. Yeah. That's it, all right. Um, so I wanted to let you know that uh-huh. my little angel. 
um, is is doing fine at my parents. Okay. And um, that my parents couldn't talk much. Yeah. Um, Probably. So um, yeah, yeah. A little so, with um, Yeah. No, no. Oh, okay. No. Um, okay. and that yeah, I I need you to email me your um um who you had your car finance through. Okay. Because it's gone and. What do you um, mean it's gone? It was in the garage. I, I, I repoed, I guess. I don't know. It shouldn't be. Um, I have they checked the well, garage? Well, the, the, um, they don't they don't have the house anymore. Um, what happened to the stuff in it? I don't know. Like I said, you know. Um. Well, no, it wouldn't be repo because it's less than a month late. So it's Lone Mart. That was July, honey. You went in. Uh, in I did. I wasn't. No, but I wasn't due on a payment until August nineteenth. Okay. Well, um, all but I know. The keys weren't it, though. So somebody took it. Um, do with everything in the house. I, I, probably storage. Maybe my bed. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the key was in it because mm, I left it in the garage. Okay. So okay. somebody had to have gotten it out of the garage. I mean, it was like I said, it was. You have tape. one minute left. Oh, okay. one minute, great. Okay. Um. All right. Anyways, I wanted to let you okay. know that. So. Yeah, it's Lone Mart. Um. Yeah. And I know I have money mm-hmm. for it. It's like two seventy four, but. Um. Interesting that he let the house go. Yeah. So I'll have to. Yeah. Just it, it, email okay. me. Uh, okay. That we'll if do. you will that information. All and right. I'll see what I can find where it's at or what it's what the deal is. Yeah, because yeah, that's not the case. So. Right. So, did somebody else say it was gone or um well parents? my mom uh-huh my mom uh said that it was um gone that, yeah she thought it was it was a uh, repo or something no it's not that it was it was not it wasn't taken by anybody else so okay. yeah uh, no it was in the garage so all right yeah if you'll let her know that thank you for using all right Secure. love you Goodbye. Hey there. Hey, I only have a few minutes because I only had like a dollar eighty left on my account. No, you know what? It said it was a free call. You yeah, because I have it. money. I have money that I had moved over for like movies oh. and stuff, but I still had a dollar eighty left, so that's why it's free. Oh, oh okay. Because I'm paying for it. <laughs> oh, okay. What's up? Um, I was just wanting to check on the um account for this week. I'm sorry to bug you. I'm really sorry. No, 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 no. That's okay. I sent you 150. I figured when? out what the problem. I sent it yesterday. Okay, it's not showing up on my account. That's really weird. Hmm. Okay. How long does it usually take? It's usually right away, and I don't have any money owing or anything. I might want hmm. to check your debit and make sure it went through. Yeah. Yeah. I, cause, I think. Yeah. Did you get my email? Uh, the one two days ago. No, yesterday. So no, I haven't I gotten think, it yet. I think what happened with because it came back on Consumers Energy too when I tried to pay on that. Like, what the heck? Are you kidding me? The reason it's not it's my fault because okay. I copied the numbers down and I came upstairs to just sit here in bed and do my stuff. I think I transposed oh, no. the numbers and then okay. it blocked me from using um from using a um checking account on Consumers Energy. So I said screw them. And I yeah. used it on DPE, my okay. gas company. Okay, so, good. Yeah, I think yeah, because you know the money's problem. there. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. We were on the phone crying out yeah. loud. So I think so. that's what the problem was. But anyway, um, so yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't gotten your email yet. But um, yeah, if you could check and make sure that went through. I'm just we're supposed to order commissary by 11:30 tonight, and I've been feeding okay. myself with it. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not staying okay. down, but it's food. It's better than what they serve here. Um, right. But, uh, yeah, so I have, like, nothing left for, from comments. I'm like, ah! So I'm like, oh, I hope well, I'm not bugging her. Yeah. No, no, I mean, you're not bugging me. At least you're I eating, make thank sure. God. 
Yeah. Yeah, and if I call you with phone money on my account, it's only 21 cents a minute, which honestly is oh. not bad. So No, that's about what Carl pays. But I'm telling you, it's that free call, just like his does yeah. on Mondays. It's free on call Mondays, on yours. They give them, no. Oh, okay. On Mondays, they give them all the inmates a free call because of COVID bullshit, since we can't see them ah. as often. Yeah. So you might have one free call every week. Yeah. I'll have to check, like but it said 21 cents a minute, which I was like, okay, fine. I've got like six or seven minutes. <laughs> so okay, well, we'll I'll see. check on that because I've been checking and ah, I was just like, What's with you again? Yeah, I haven't gotten your yeah. email yet either, so who knows? These people. They better yeah. do it tonight or I'm going to scream at somebody. Idiots. Idiots. Yeah. Okay. Well, the guard um, that usually gives me see. books is supposed to be here tonight. So. Oh, good. Yeah. So can you get can you get subscriptions like Wall Street Journal or anything like that? No. No. You want, oh. no just the books I have. Okay. So. No, we can't even get e-books on our tablet, which sucks. It sucks on being in the county jail because they're way worse. Yeah. Way worse. So. Yep. But, I mean, there's a guard that's amazing, but she hasn't been on shift in over a week. And either people don't know what they're doing or they're not willing to. I mean, I've had a couple say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, okay, well, you know, whatever. So, yeah, whatever. But. What are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh well. All right. Let me let me see if I can get into this. Hope you don't. Um. While I got you on the phone here. Go for it. You It'll give me a one minute, minute warning. Oh, they want my one minute warning. Our one minute warning. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll send you an email. But okay. I'll check it. I'll double check it. Okay. And I'll send you an email. Okay, I'll keep honey. checking it tonight. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, they okay. better get with the program. So. Well, at least I got to talk to you. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Carl's was only five minutes last time. Usually it's about it's ten been ten minutes, but they cut them. I don't know why that one was so short, but you know. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. All right. All right, sweetie. Oh, I, love well, I love you. I love you too. Take care, honey. Thank you so much. I get my I get my results tomorrow, so I'll talk to you sometime after that. Let you know what happened. Sounds mm-hmm. good. I'm looking. For, I'm praying. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> I, I ain't heard nothing back from Fred, dang it. I emailed him yesterday. Yeah. Thank so. you for using Securus. I love you. Goodbye. Hey, hey there. More, I didn't wake you up, did I? No, I get up at 4.30. We just had morning meds come through, so I'm like, oh, I might as well go ahead and send some away. Perfect. Perfect. How you doing? How are the meds working for you? They're still not. They haven't changed the morning once. I, I added the but of course, it takes a while. Um, right. But I'm hoping to see help us this week and see if they can adjust. If they can get the doctor to adjust other stuff. So, um, yeah. Plus, it's cold. I've been sick. That's been. I, I've got a chest cold and a lot of asthma, and that causes breathing issues. So I had asked for a decongestant. Well, instead, they prescribed breathing treatments, which those help too. But the problem is that the the medical people, there's only been one medical person that's actually giving me the breathing treatments. The others, I ask for it, and they forget about me. Even though I hit the button and ask the guards, you know, hey, could you call medical and have them come up to do this? And medical keeps forgetting about me. How often did the doctor say you're supposed to have Once a day. And you're only getting them once a day? Well, I've only gotten them once a day, Saturday and Sunday, because that's it's, that's one medical person, and then she wasn't here the last two days. She's here this morning, so she said she'll be back. It, usually she has to do it after meds pass, so she'll be back in about an hour. But, yeah, it hurts to breathe right now. But you're only getting one. Did they test you for COVID? Yeah, I don't have COVID. It's just a, it's, it's a cold, and then when I, have a, when I get a cold, this is what my asthma does to me. Mm, yeah, your voice sounds so. good. Yeah, it, it, I'm congested. It sucks, but oh well. Anyway, <laughs> just feel like crap. But well, if you don't, if you uh, if you're supposed to, if the doctor said you're supposed to get them twice a day, you're not getting them twice a day. You file a grievance. You need to read yeah, up on the grievance to... system in there. Okay, I will do that because Carl's got it down. Just, he knows uh, if, if you know how to get on their ass. 
they're going to take yeah. better care of you. Okay. I don't so, know these things. So. I know. You need to read the grievance policies and how you do that. Carl knows them with his hand. You know, they have certain time periods they have to be filed in and all that shit. So. Okay. I think I've seen something yeah. about that on the tablet, so I'll go look as soon as we get off. Yep. Yep. So that that be handy. Yep. Uh, so. so I had a question for you, and I feel yes, bad I asking, but, uh, you know, they're taking forever on getting a hold of my brother and stuff. Um, I was just wondering if there was a chance I could borrow the $75 for commissary this week, because that's how I feed myself. I don't eat their food. I know, sweetie. I don't have it. I really, okay. really don't. So, so I just figured... I figured I would ask. So yeah, I'll check. I'll check in your account though, because remember last time I checked, you had like four hundred bucks. I think I only sent you one hundred and fifty out of there. So oh, I check. Okay. I, I think. Okay. I think I, I. Um, and you said, yeah, I'll have to tighten down or something. And so yeah, I'm and I haven't sure you, been getting it. Yeah. Right. So at least I know weeks you haven't. So I'll check yeah. your account and whatever there is, I'll send most okay. of it and leave like five bucks or something in there. Or, is that a monthly fine for now that they charge? Yeah, it's a ton of dollars. It's five dollars. So how much do you want me to leave in it? Yeah. Like ten bucks. Because will it close out if there's no money in it? No, no, it won't. Okay. So, yeah, I just I'm like I, I got to do something. I was like, crap, I got to figure this out because staying on them. Um, but I you can't. Have I can't call Lydia. Do you have your brother's address? Yeah, yeah, I have his address. Write him a letter. I don't, I have to get um, a stamped envelope. Okay. So okay, I'm going to... You need money. I have to order commentary. I have to get some commentary. Okay. So I didn't... I hadn't ordered any because, you know, I've, I've been so careful getting the food and stuff. But I can do that this week. That's a thought. Yeah. That, I'll yeah. do that this week. And there you go. Then you know it'll get to him. Yeah, so so ridiculous. I don't have your phone number because they have my cell phone. You know, I yeah. have your numbers memorized. Everybody knows that nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So, but. And then okay, you get well, when you get it, and that way we can communicate with him. Yeah. And that's and what so it doesn't have to pay. First thing I'm doing when I get it is, yeah, the first thing I do it when I'm, that I'm doing when I get it is giving it to you because I need you to have it. So, yeah. But. Yeah, that's frustrating. I'm like, come on, they told us four weeks ago now that they were going to email it to Lydia. That's right. And but, uh, and I'd yeah, like but, Lydia to stay on. Yeah, I'd like I'd like Lydia to stay on the butt about it, but I can't call her because her number is restricted. Mm-hmm. It's blocked. It's like she blocked the jail. But she gave me her number. I'm like, what the heck? She you, you gave me your number. I have not known it because I had to be careful because the when I do the um the prison one is. You yeah. get a different number than the jail one. Except yeah. otherwise it blocks. Yeah. You hit the wrong well, number, it blocks rather than accepts. Yeah. And they're well, only one number it, apart. Yeah. Well, this actually, it comes up as restricted, which means she has the number blocked on her phone. I found that out. That's what that means. So I don't know. Okay, like, but what I'm saying is it says hit one to accept or two to yeah. reject and block. So yes. if she accidentally hit the two instead of one, she blocked you okay. without knowing. She previously it. hit it. Yeah, okay. Right, right. And sense. she has to actually go and unblock it. Yeah, yeah, I knew she had to go unblock it, but yeah. Yep. But I can't tell her that until I see her, and I don't know when. I'm hoping to see her this week. She, I didn't see her last week, but. So, yeah. All right. But, all right. Well, I don't want to run your phone bill up. But. All right. Well, I have a little bit of money on my account, so it's it's already this call's already paid for. Okay. Good. Although I had to I had to open it back up because they like they put it I don't, I don't know what they I guess because I hadn't used it and so all I had to do was click a couple buttons and it opened it back up. I had ten bucks in there. But no, I had to, I put out last month. I put out over twenty one thousand dollars to get my daughter out of that lease over where she was at. Yeah. It, it was it was just like I'm fucking broke. Yeah. It's, I it's do it with that and I was like, well I'm gonna ask just in case but I figured Yeah. yeah. But you can always ask, so Yeah. I figured the answer's guaranteed to be no if you don't ask, so That's right. That's right. And then normally I should. Probably not probably not a ton, yeah. but I could, you know. 
Yeah, um, yeah. Do something. But I'm just like, oh, it's so it's cold. This is really well cold. Well, do some, do some, well, hard exercise, we can't breathe. Yeah, that's, I can't do that. And plus, you know, I, I don't want to get up from the blanket because that's the only symbol of the warm you get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a catch-22, but oh well. Mm-hmm. I'm whining. I'm sorry. No, so read those. Read those. The things. I'm and, going to and file a grievance. Okay. See, I don't know these things. So you, you are such a blessing. You and your husband are such a blessing to me because I have no clue on these things. But I know so. you're a fucking lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But so well, well yeah, and thanks for checking my account because I have to order tonight, so if there's money there, that'd okay, be great. great. All right, I'll do that. Um and start looking around in there, see if there's people that need well, probably not in there, but if you were in the regular prison system, you're gonna have yeah. people that need appeals and stuff like that. But you might have you might have there might be people in there that are like want a divorce or anything like that. You could actually do the paperwork for them. If you've yeah. got access well, but, to, you know, well, yeah, we've got a law library on our tablets. And do you, can, can you type in print or? No, but I can handwrite stuff, and I've got really good handwriting. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, that but would be a way to add income for you. Yeah. You know? The problem is that Max, there's five of us in here right now, and three of them are crazy as all get out, let me okay. tell you. Well, oh, the one above me that they just put above me about a week ago. She like six, seven hours a day. She screams at nobody. She screams and cusses and carries out conversations, and there's nobody in the room. I mean, it's yeah. And then night before last at three a.m., I actually dozed off, and she threw with the totes that we have they give us, and she was like throwing that thing around, woke me up. I was like, what the? Yeah. So. Yes. But I, I did find out a girl that I had been, when we were still in the big pod before they put us in this little bitty one, um, I had been helping her. Um, she she was charged with perjury on a murder case, which in this state is a life offense. And so I was helping her and, and telling her, you know, this is what they have to do and this is that. She I just found out she beat the charges and this out. Awesome. Good job. I'm trying to get a hold of her phone number, so but I was like, oh, that felt good because she yeah. and her brother were asking me because their attorney was useless. I had seen their attorney from my work as a law clerk, mm-hmm. and he was useless. I mean, mm-hmm. frat boy, just total, oh, my gosh. And um, so he wanted her to take a plea deal that would have been 30 months in inbox. Oh, jeez. I'm like, no, absolutely not. But I just found out she beat it, and, is, and somebody's trying to get her phone number for me, which is nice. But um. But yeah, I helped her with that. That felt good. Yeah. So I feel focused on something else. And they still don't have our calls as private. Private. So. No, you try oh. the phone in the pod. It's because I'm on the tablet right now. But the phone out in the pod, you actually can choose an option to go private. And I tried when uh, night before last when I would call. I had tried to call you on the private thing, and it said that this number was private. I couldn't do it that way. Yeah. But I did try. Yeah. So. So you can use your pod to call, to make calls? Or you there's a phone your... out in the pod. So I, the meant, I meant you can use your tablet to make, okay. Huh. So that's how I usually call you is on the tablet. Hmm. Okay. Because we only get an hour out in the pod every day each. Hmm. Join yeah. Max. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So, cool. uh, yep, mm-hmm. no, tablet's nice. Keeps us. I wish that they had some limited YouTube or internet on it, because you can't search the internet at all. Like there's no option to anything. So that sucks. Mm-hmm. Restricted Alpha Law Zoo, which I understand. Restrict searches or something. But you know, yeah. hmm. I'm thankful to have it. Yeah. yeah. So I found a nice podcast. Oh, sorry. You what? What were you saying? Go ahead. Oh, um, I found this because we have podcasts on it, but it's very, I mean, we only get access to a few and they choose them. Um, but I found it's called Anxiety Slayer. It's for people that have PTSD, uh, panic attacks, stress, and anxiety. And there's some good stuff on there. So, 
I'm going to have to, have you read some of those cases that I sent you? I started reading them. Uh, yeah, I read the, yeah, I read the two that you sent. Okay. I read, I read the first one. I haven't read the second, the appeal. I think I read the appeal. I don't know. Yeah, and haven't read the original or something. I don't know, vice versa. But anyways. Yeah, I just read um, the appeal last night, but I'm feeling so rotten right now. I'm kind of like, yeah, the, I read the original case a few days ago when I felt better. So yeah, it's, it's hard to focus when your head's stuffy and you oh, Yeah. So, okay. It hurts to yeah. So yeah, a couple things we got to talk about. I know. Um, so I'll make sure okay. I read the other one too before I we do a video visit. Okay. Because I don't think some of the okay. stuff you were talking about you were thinking was going to work. I don't think it's going to work just from a perspective of. Okay. I, I, looking at at least what I've learned about certain medical condition, I don't I don't see that working. But anyway. Okay. All right. We'll talk about that later. Right. Okay, Doc. I love you. All right. I love you, too. Take care, honey. I will try. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. The caller has hung up. Hey, girl. Hey. I, can Hello. I catch you during lunch? I'm here. Yeah. yeah no, it's, it's, I'm not crying now, so it's good. What's wrong? Um, I, uh, my, one of my dogs. Uh, last night. I don't want to talk sure, about Dr. Dr. Kine. Okay, I'm sorry, but I found out today that Sean died. Tell me. You're it too? In yeah. When? I don't know it was recent because I was working on getting in here. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Um, but let me train another one. I may we don't even have to worry about a puppy soon to get him here just to pick one out. I may need help just to pick it out, but I'll have the money to do that. Remember, I have phone numbers. Um, I got them, and okay, okay. Got um, I, I I messaged and haven't gotten anything back. However, when you gave me the grand that he was at the grand one, I found him there. Um, they gave me his direct number. I emailed that to you. Um, the lady okay. tried to put me through to him, but she thought he was at lunch, so she told me to call him back in about an hour. So that's going to be. Uh, about 3.30, unless you would like to try calling him, if, if you can get into um, it. At work, I'd like to. I, and I don't have the email yet. So call, I can't call and collect at work. Well, I guess I could oh. if he had his debit card there. Well, do you have... Oh, okay, no. You don't have any money on your thing, right? No, I don't. No. And there's no way. I, I can't put money onto yours. No. So... Um, so I will just, I will call him. Okay. And say, hey, thank you. Your sister's trying to call you. Um, what do you want to have phone numbers. Confirm his personal phone number. Yeah. Confirm his phone numbers and then email me and let him know, hey, look, I had to call and collect the first time, but what I'll try to do, since you're going to try to reach him today, I will try to call him collect after 5 p.m. his time. They're an hour behind us. So, um, after 5 p.m. his time. Okay. Um, so, okay, true. Or actually, tell him I'll call him because you're, I'm not going to get the, I want to make sure I have the right phone numbers. Yeah, because we don't um, know. Okay. Yeah, if they're right or not. Um, so I'll call him tomorrow after five I can't call, I, I'll have to wait for your email. Okay. So, so you don't have to have a you or something, do you? I don't know. I heard that he was trying to get a hold of me. Who told you that? The numbers you gave me were the same numbers that I had, that at least the one for him was the same number that you had given me originally, and I never heard back. Yeah, I thought so. I thought uh-huh. so, and we never heard back. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. He's very suspicious of people. So, okay. DHHS told me he was trying to get a hold of me okay. a while back. Like, they told me that a month ago. So, oh, and Adam got out of the hospital recently, and he was kind of what for. Lizzie's going to try to find out. Apparently, Adam was in the hospital for an emergency of some sort. Oh, I hate this no contact order. I hate it. And so. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the shit that Fred's office was so freaking rude. I couldn't believe that. I just, wow. I'm going to get the file that way, though. So. Yeah. Just don't look, don't look at it. Don't, don't look at it. Yeah, don't no, I'm not going to. Okay. I wasn't planning on it. No. no. I'm like, no, it's not happening. I will. Uh, Hand that off as soon as I can. Be like, here you go. So, okay. so yeah, I don't know how much the cost or whatever, and I'll put it in your account. Okay. 
I, I, I can't do shit without it. I mean, that's like kind yeah. of the most important thing. Yeah. So well, hopefully uh, the money issue won't be an issue soon anyway. So yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> anyway, so well, I'm glad I got a hold of you. I was like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> But anyway, so they have scheduled the preliminary examination. I was found competent today. Okay. And the prelim is the 4th of January. Okay, shut. Still with off. January 4th. Okay. Yeah. Well, we should just move along. Yeah. And I did find out because, see, I had been told originally that they were trying to speed up the termination proceedings before the criminal stuff, which was stupid, but somebody had a bug up their butt. I found out they changed their mind and they're not doing that anymore, which is huge. That's a relief to me. It's one less thing to stress about before the criminal stuff. They, so, okay, say that again? Originally, they were going to try to do the, the – because we're doing a bench trial for the, the family court side of things. Oh, yeah. Um, they were going to try to do that before the criminal trial. Mm-hmm. And normally they don't do that. But somebody had a bug up their butt, and they're like, we're going to do this quicker. And they have now decided they're not doing that. They're waiting until after the criminal stuff. Probably because they could get their ass in trouble. Yeah. I don't know who had a bug up their butt, but I'm like, really? You can't do that. Mm-hmm. You can't say it. I'm guilty. I mean, I realize right. that the, the proof is lower. But if I get found not guilty or, you know, I mean, like, hopefully it happens, right. then, excuse me, you can't sit here and say I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So I'm glad they – There's never out. been any – there's never been any reports of any kind of abuse on Gabriel. No. No. None at all. And there's not now. So. Mm-hmm. It's because of what happened to Timothy, they want to take Gabriel. So mm-hmm. it's nothing that I did wrong with Gabriel. So he's healthy, happy. They took him to Disney World without me. Found out. Yeah. Well, well, you know, maybe they wanted to distract him, which I understand in part. Exactly. But I was like, you know what? His first trip to Disney World, I wanted to be there. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. So that's your plan okay. for it, and maybe you'll be able to take him somewhere better. Yeah. Or, or we all go to family. Yeah. Eventually, hopefully. Mhm. So, but yeah. anyway, I just wanted to, I, because emails usually I just sent that today, so you usually don't get emails that fast for me. So I was like, oh, wait a second, she's, she's on lunch break. So yeah, I sent two to you. So I haven't gotten them yet. Okay. Okay. Still come sometime probably tonight. So, but I look forward to the the next one that after you talk to him, he could be a little gross to begin with. It's just my brother, just FYI, okay. he could be a little bit of a butthead. Yeah, my brother was like that too. Oh, he's a big butthead. Yeah. So. Well, mine mine's not a big butthead. He just he, he's protective of me. We're very close. So yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Well, so if I call him at work too, um, I can talk to him and he won't think I'm just some crackpot, but you know, yeah, exactly. yeah, there's some scammers out there. So, oh, yeah. I can and tell that's him. the thing is, I'm... go ahead, sorry. No, I'm, sorry. I'm, you know, I can tell him we went to law school together and, you know, you had Gemma yep. back then, da da da. That way he knows I'm, yep. I am who I say I am. Well, um, you can name Gabriel, you know, hey, right. I had Adlin originally, but Gemini. Mm-hmm. Um, I have them with the team, of course, who aren't doing as well this year. I don't know if they beat Auburn or not. I hope they didn't. But, uh, yeah. So, Michigan stomped Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, and the year killed I heard. Yeah, yeah. Like, the first half was pretty even, and then the second half, Michigan just took off. I got to watch the game. They I had out time. I asked for my out time for the second half. Mm-hmm. And, um... Then normally you get an hour, but there was no VL fast for out time, so they just let me stay out the whole second half of the game. Nice. Because they you they didn't hear you didn't hear stuff. about the thing in the tunnel, did you? Oh yes, I did. Was, I heard about it. Oh. It was on a podcast. Was this was oh. there another one in the tunnel, or was this the state one? 
um, I don't. I thought it was a, a state, or I thought it was yeah, a was U of M guy that was in the tunnel, and it was just state guys in the tunnel, and the state guys did it. But I don't know. I could be yeah. wrong. No, I think okay. that's what happened. That was Michigan is good state when they played at U of M. Yeah, I heard yeah. about that on a podcast. I was yeah. like, geez. So, yeah, but uh, people are crazy nowadays. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I have a crazy lady above me, Ashley. Uh, like she screams and yells and it. hollers. Oh yeah. Oh, I did tell you about her. Yeah, she's still mm-hmm. she's still there. She went from four a.m. this morning to after seven. Oh, and I'm they got me on bed. Knock her ass out. Yeah. Well, I'm sleeping now. That's what the. Best. I mean, I'm having more night terrors, but they've got me on some medication, so I'm sleeping. Mm-hmm. But. Then it, you know, if she's being that loud trying to go to sleep, it's a little difficult. Mm-hmm. But yes, they put me on medication that's working. Good. The Abilify. The Abilify. That's what it is. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it's an antihistamine. Mm-hmm. It also works yep. for mental health issues. So, yeah, okay. and they upped the dosage because I said, okay, it's working a little bit, but, eh. and so they doubled the dose on me. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I take it, and about two hours later, I am ready to go out. I'm like, okay, good, good night. I'm good. done, y'all. Good. Your yeah. brain needs regenerating. Yeah. It's exactly. at the top of your game. Yeah. So, well, I won't keep you. I just wanted to reach out. Like I said, normally you don't get my emails that fast. So, yeah. I'm I'll, uh, I'll email you as soon as I confirm his phone numbers or let you know okay. if he hung up on me and thought I was a quest. Or whatever. Okay. I'll let know what happened. Okay. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Thank take you care. so much. You're welcome. I love you. I, I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. All right. Hey, I'm praying for you. Bye. Thank you. Same here. Of course. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. The caller has hung up. This is Marie. Hi, Marie. This is Shonda Van Der Ark. I just had a quick question for you, and i got to hurry because I have very little tongues on my account. Um, okay. Was your DHHS liaison able to get my brother's phone number yet? Um, I don't believe so. So I'm actually going to see you tomorrow, okay? Oh, okay. All right. So I will see you tomorrow okay. at about 9. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. I have a little one. All right. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Hey, girl. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, good. I broke down that new headphones, so so I don't have to be out in the pod to call you. I can use call on my tablet. Really? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Technology. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, amazing. The headphones are fifteen bucks and they're dollar store headphones. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Oh well. They still so. Yep. No well. So how are you? I'm good. So uh they denied my husband of uh, because I wasn't licensed in the state, but they can't do that. So he's putting in a grievance. I don't have good. to be licensed in the state. But no. they're idiots. So, um, I go, I'm leaving Thursday and I get sworn in on Friday. So I'll have my paper in my hot little hands and yeah, ready you can to roll in the next couple weeks. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'll just bring a power of attorney with me and we can do That'll it. work. Yep. Yeah. Um, have you managed to get a hold of my brother? No, I haven't heard nothing back yet. Um, Lydia gave me. Uh, my ex's number. number. Yeah. Yeah, that's my yeah, ex. I haven't called him. He's a smooth talker, fair warning. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's a he's a power power freak, control freak. Yeah. I cost him a second okay. wife too, so oh, okay. I figured you'd pick up on the smooth talk, but just in case. Yeah. And he's probably <laughs> angry right now, so Well, I figured, yeah. I, I wasn't sure yeah. what I was gonna run into, but I just, I've been yeah. looking busy at work. It's been crazy. Not the way. So. I've been um, to that. Staying busy. <laughs> being busy, yeah. Yeah. It's better than being broke. So. Sorry. Do you I need money? You. No, that's okay. Do you need money? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. You want to send the mask? I got it. Okay. Yep. All right. That way I can oh, do the movies and the snack bags, and I'm getting a laundry yeah. bag this week from commissary, so I can actually wash my clothes. Like, all we have to do, we don't have to pay for laundry soap or anything. We just have to put it mm-hmm. in the bag and put our name on the bag, and we get it back mm. the next day. So I'm like, okay, thank you, because I'm tired of washing. I mean, you probably know these sinks are tiny. 
And yeah. if I wash it in the shower, it's so soaked it takes anything, even something small takes like five days to dry. So yeah, yeah. It's like a shampoo. Do they? Have, they probably don't have the heat on yet there either, do they? No, it's freezing. Holy crap, yeah. it's cold. We're all freezing our butts off. I mean, I have like people have given me um, long johns along mm-hmm. the way, and then a girl. Um, a couple of down, she traded, she just got a new pair and she hasn't used them. And so she's like, Hey, do you want them? Well, I traded some food. I had an extra Frito, the ingredients for Frito chili pie, which she loves. I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, if this is an extra meal. I don't need it this week. This was last week. And so we, um, I traded that. And so I got an extra set as well. So I was like, okay, friends, I need something to wash. This, this is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, I know. Carl said Carl said they don't turn it on to like mid no or mid October. In Michigan? So, yeah. Yeah. No wonder it's so cold. It doesn't even matter if it's snowing, they don't turn it on. They go. Oh my gosh. Go figure. Yeah. So uh-huh. they issue you a coat and stuff, right? No. They don't even no? issue with long sleeves. You have to buy your own long sleeves. Wow. No, we get to the top and bottom, short sleeves, long pants. That's it. You don't even get socks. If you had socks, great, but you can buy them. But I had some. Jeez. Yeah. Well, what? You had one pair? Um, now I have, I've traded a couple things over time. So I have two, three. But one is like the no show socks. So there's, I have two that are long. Yeah. So yeah. we can't send you anything, can, right? No. Nope. You have to buy it. Okay. Yeah. I finally, last week on commissary, just got my second pair of underwear. Because I only oh, had the one God. pair I wore. Oh, my God. So, and they're each pair oh. is like four bucks. Commando. Yeah. Yep. The people gave me a couple pairs of boxer shorts. So, you know, I was going back and forth. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Better than nothing. Good Lord. So, yeah, the laundry bag became a priority. I'm like, okay, now I can actually get more... You know, underwear and stuff. Supposedly, they're like, you're not really supposed to have more than three pairs of underwear or three pairs of socks total. Or three bras. I don't even have a bra. Because mine was black, so they wouldn't let me keep it. Oh, yeah. But I could care less about that. I'm like, fine, I'll go. Nice. Freedom, you know? <laughs> but um, I don't have that much anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, so um, another layer of something to keep you warm, at least. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But they're bras that you order for like ten bucks. I'm going, you know, I'm sorry. No. I'd rather have food. So mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I just spent oh, like well. forty for for one stinking bra. It's ridiculous. <laughs> then they I have like same one on Amazon for twenty eight. Oh. Yeah, they have yeah. I have an Amazon membership if you don't. I'll let you sign in and use mine. You can add your yeah, name no, and everything. No, I do. Okay. I do. I do. I do. Cause I know my brother uses mine too. So, um, but Where is yeah, he, live? he lives in Oklahoma. Okay. We dragged from from Alabama to Oklahoma, and then I moved up here seven years ago now. So, yep. Him and his wife. His wife's name is Linda. She's awesome. I'm really close. Okay. I mean, my brother and I. He just turned fifty a few days before all this happened. Um, mm-hmm. We're really close. Apparently, like I guess DHS workers are going to be meeting with me once a month. Well, but yeah, whatever. They came this morning for all of 10 minutes. Um, but uh, she's like, yeah, you know, your your brother's trying to get a hold of you. I'm like, well, then he needs to answer his freaking phone. Mm-hmm. By the way, what like, number text me back? back? Or, yeah, yeah, or text yeah. me. Well, I figure maybe if you know what number, I mean, I want to write it down, but if you know what number shows up, you could text him and say, hey, your sister's going to call from this number. Okay. All right, I'll let him know. I I, I need to. I'm gonna call him again. I texted okay. him because you said that he probably wouldn't answer if yeah. you know he thought the number and didn't recognize yeah. it. But I'm gonna call and just leave a voice. I thought he would answer the text. Yeah, he. I, I've been trying to yeah. call him since six o'clock tonight since the tablets came back on after supper and nothing. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna strangle you, dude. Yeah. If he flipping, it's. I mean, it probably shows up Michigan, right? Does it at least show Michigan? No, no. Well, it shows two three one area code. Okay, That's so it's Michigan. Because it, yeah. normally most phones will actually stay in the state. Okay, so he knows this. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, smack him upside the head when you get a hold of him. Yeah. I love okay. him dearly, don't get me wrong, but we, I mean, he's butthead or not head, and, you know, I'm typically, so. He's a guy. He's a guy. Yeah. So yeah. DHS is coming to see you? 
Why? Oh, well, yeah, because the family court case. Lydia was there with them, oh. so she won't let them see me without somebody from the PD's office being there. Oh, okay, good, so. good, good, good. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, and I got I asked one of the guards today, and he's like, I honestly am not sure. You're gonna have to kite for this because now that you're, you know, you're, you've got your license and stuff. Well, um, our communication should no longer be recorded. Or Red, they don't have so my they information yet. They don't have my information yet. I've got the person yeah. that I need to email the card to once I get it. Okay. So, um, so you know that so yeah, okay, they good. are still they're Perfect. they're still recorded. So, yes, yeah, so I know they are for now. But as soon as you get that, because I was, I was thinking about that this week, I'm like, wait a minute. So, yep. Hey, yeah, I've got and then once you turn, I'm sorry, go ahead. huh? What? No, go ahead. <laughs> You're fine. Go ahead. I was gonna say we haven't got any more books because that one guard has not been here. Um, but I did start writing. I'll have to show you when you come visit me. I started writing. I have a book published under a pen name. Um, I love oh, cool. creative writing, and so yeah. I have started writing. I'm doing basically law school, but it's with a service dog with PTSD and a husband that's disabled. So it's kind of similar, but there's differences too. I mean, so. Mm -hmm. But I want to highlight cool. disabilities and mental health and mental illness. And mm -hmm. so I've let one of the girls in here in Max that, you know, we talked through the doors. And um, mm -hmm. I've let her read what I've got. I've got three chapters written so far. I mean, it's like six pages. But uh, she's like, oh, my God, this is so good. I was like. Very cool. So, Very cool. So are are they are being are they being less bitches? Or? Well, it's just nobody else knows what they're doing. Like, literally, one guard knows how to find books. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I mean the nice. inmates. The other, I mean the oh, other the inmates. inmates. Oh, actually, yeah. here in Max, I mean, because either you're here in Max either for your own safety or because your behavior problems. Yeah. And so nobody here in Max has been an issue at all. It's just there's only six of us. Mm. And some people don't even take their out time at all. So, you know, wow. and when we do, it's, we're out by ourselves. You don't get out with another inmate. So oh. we walk through the doors So or slide stuff under the doors. I see. So, yeah, it's lonely. Yeah. Very lonely. No, no, I've got a couple of people here that are sweetheart. They're great. Talk to them all the time. One that's annoying. She keeps like, I guess she doesn't have any money on commissary anymore. And I used to, you know, I helped her out a couple of times, but I'm like, she she gets demanding. She's like, hey, give me this. Give me this. I'm like, nah, no. That's how I feed myself. No. Yeah. So, well, yeah. she keeps, I mean, she knows not to bother me in the morning. It's like 7, 8 o'clock when I actually fall asleep finally. And she keeps coming and banging on the door and waking me up. I'm like, you're not going to get a good response if you do that. I'm sorry. You're not. Yeah. No, no. So, no, no. yeah. And have you gotten any help with sleep yet? No, not yet. I know Fred was working on it. Um, one of the girls have been talking to you so much. Um, she, uh, Help West has been coming to you see have her. one minute week. left. Okay. I'll hurry. Um, they've been coming every other week, and they're supposed to come Wednesday this week. So she's like, I'm going to send them your way. It's like, okay, thank you. So, yeah, good. Okay. No, well, I'm still not sleeping. But anyway, we're almost out of time. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I can't wait to see you, sweetie. I can't wait. I love you. I know. I love you, too. All right. Well, we'll yes, see I you do. soon. I'll do, okay. we'll do a video call. I'll set up a video call for some time this week. Okay. Just because thank you for the free. night. For the... Yeah, exactly. No worries, honey. <laughs> All right. All right. Love you. I love you. Take care, baby. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Hey there. Hello. Sorry, I was getting off the phone with one of my roommates. I told her to call up right at the worst moment. Anyway, oh, all right. Hang on, and I'm gonna try and see if I can do this. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Look. Hello? David? Yes. Yeah. David, it's Sean. Are you? I can't. Please don't hang up. David, David hang up. Please don't hang up. David is back. Hello? Can you hear us? David, can you hear us? And Shonda? David, can you hear 
better, David? Hello. Hello. Is he still there? I can hear you, Shauna, but it's not like sounds like ocean waves. David, are you there? I don't, I don't, it's surprising me that he answered. Um, let me try, what I think he, let me try calling again. Okay. Is he, His voicemail, Sean. Do you want to leave a message? Yeah, David, it's me. You didn't answer. Um, I guess you couldn't hear us, Sean. But please call Ashley back at eight five zero. I love you, David. Please call her. I desperately need you to call. Love you. Bye. Okay, I'll hang up, and you can call me back if you want. Yeah. Hey there. Hey. So you think he why he, huh? Go ahead, sorry. I don't know why he didn't answer or call back, but you know, who knows? Yeah. Do you think he actually so, couldn't hear us? Um, it there was a lot of interference. Okay. Um it was like ocean waves coming in and going out. It was really weird. Okay. So I don't I don't know. If he if he could or he couldn't. It's the first time he's ever actually answered the freaking phone. So yeah. I might try to call him back on my own. Okay, okay. dude. You know? I wonder if you thought again if you're willing, if um some night is maybe try it like on his cell phone texting first and say, Hey, I'm calling with Shonda on the phone. Yeah, but I don't know if it's I don't know if his cell phone's the right number. Do I? Um I, I confirmed have, it with did I check it to make sure it was right? Yeah, DHHS confirmed um, with Adam and them. Okay. Okay. So we have the correct numbers. He just doesn't have his voicemail set up, or it's full. Or is he voting you? Yeah. Yeah. your money. See, yeah. I don't see that happening. I don't. Not with my brother. I just... I don't see that happening at all because I know he has the money. So that's not an issue. My worry is he's been told stuff and is avoiding me for that reason. But do you think he thinks you're guilty? I would hope not. He's calling me back. He's calling me back. Let me go get it. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. The caller has hung up. Hey. Hey. He called back. I think on cell phone. Um, okay. And so I told him I will email. Um, well, we'll have to go down to my stupid, stupid the house. I have to go back over there and get it. So I can't scan, but I got to scan that um, uh, the power of attorney in um, okay. and then send it to, he said he'd email me the trust, the whoever I'm supposed to contact at the trust to find out what the deal is, I guess. Um, no, 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 no. He's really getting the right home. I, I told him money from the house, and then he started talking about the trust. So I don't know if that was – maybe he misunderstood me or – I don't know. But um, yeah. I'm going to give you an email address so you can correct. I'll throw some uh, stamps into your account. You can email him. Okay. And I okay. said, we'll try calling in next week, same time. Is this a good time for you? He said, yes. I couldn't hear because it was, and I said, I understand. I could hear the parents, whatever it was. But we'll try it again next Monday. I said, okay, I know she was a Huh? Yeah. He, he, he didn't mean to be a different thing. Scam. Okay. Um, I figured what he thought. So, uh, but okay. Well, he called you back on the cell phone. You should have that number now. Yeah, I think it was his cell phone because it's the same as his as his office phone was. So, 
Um, okay. He said that he said that it was correct. He said that the information that I had was correct. He thought okay, it was good. Opinion. So we just had it. Good. Yep. Uh, he needs to answer my calls then, doggone it. Uh, well, tell him. Answer. <laughs> Well, now that um, you have his number, card, you could text him. We that now that we confirmed his cell phone number. Yeah, I um, I, I told him I'd send him. I said there's free video visits once a week. You can get a free video visit. I said I know okay. she'd love to stay. We already used this week, but um, uh, next week she'll have you know one available. Now I don't need to, you know, I don't need to. Uh, we used last week. Oh, oh, well. Thursday last um, week? Was it? Yeah. So um, I'll email him the links to all that to get into it um, so that he can sign up for all that stuff so he can actually have some contact with you. Okay. Yeah, because I can contact him. I can explain about the right stuff. I mean. Right. Yep. And I said she gave me power of attorney because, it's like, literally she had nobody. And I explained yeah. nobody from church, nobody from anywhere, and it pissed me off. Professed to be Christians, and they're not. Yeah. <laughs> or they're not behaving that way. So, yeah, yeah I think he misunderstood because he paid the rent directly. So, as soon yeah. as I get a hold of him, I should be able to get it from him. Okay. Well, and if that's the case, tell him I can set up a different account. That would make life so much easier. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, I'll figure out how to set it up. If it's just uh, okay. an account with you, you with the POD on it, or no, I can't do that because I got to get your signature. Just put your name on it. Just put your name on it, and, and my name on it. As long as I have a card, then I can get money to you. You can show that this is the only thing money's going for. Yeah. So. Would you possibly text him, consider texting him today and tell him I'm going to try to call him collect at, um, I'll say, 7 o'clock his time? Today. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know, I don't know if he has to go on. It might be something he has to go on and because it just says, you know, will he the charges or whatever, and I don't know if you have to ha already have an account set up. That? No, you can just enter PIN information. Remember the first time you did it? Mm, I already had an account set up. You already had the account set up. You, apparently, you can just enter payment information. You can just mm. enter a debit card number. Okay, I don't I don't know because I've never done that. Um, okay, that's what I've been told in the past. You can just enter one option. It's just inner payment information. Okay. All right. I'll let him know that. And I'll give him the I'll give him the website too so he can go on and sign up and stuff. Okay. But yeah, tell him I'm gonna try to call him tonight. I I know he I was hoping he thought it was a scam. That's what I was hoping. I wasn't ignoring stuff. So it doesn't sound like he was. Yeah, and he didn't sound like he was pissed off or anything like that. Like, you know, I said it doesn't matter whether she's guilty or innocent. I said it's still you know, you tell them I'm not guilty. They, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so, you know, I need to go to in a few minutes, so and I'm trying to get yeah. this brother to type to your brother, so I will do that. Okay. All right. Thank I love you, so kiddo. Much. You're welcome. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hear me, Shonda. I don't know why I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Try emailing me. Um, I set that up. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Um, and I'll try and set up a video call for tomorrow because I can't hear you. I put in all my information. I don't know what the problem is. Can you hear me? Love you, kiddo. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Hey, girl. Hey, you. Sorry to call Collect this time. That's okay. I'm in the middle of class, but. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'll call back later. That's okay. Just make it's not what you got. Oh no, it's not that I'm, I can call back later. I promise. Are you sure? Can you call back like yes. during the daytime? 
Yeah, sure. You want me to call back tomorrow during the day? Yeah, that'd be good. I was asleep last night. I was like half asleep. I'm just oh, like, okay. sorry. That's okay. No. What time tomorrow? Right. Okay. Bye bye, honey. All right. Bye. The call. Hey, girl. Hey, I just got notified that Adam passed away. Oh, my God. You're kidding. No. Holy shit. Oh. It was. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I just had to call you. Who who told you? The sergeant here in the health list was here with me for a few minutes. Lydia's coming later, so I'll find out more about what happened later. Who gave them the information? Um. I don't know who gave it. Well, I guess DHHS gave Health West the information, but I had to sign to release his remains for cremation. Oh, my gosh. Wow. There's no problem. I thought he was okay. Yeah, he had, what did he have going on? I remember you saying something. Leukemia. Oh, yeah. No. And it, and it, it, it just found out. Responding. Yeah, he was responding to treatment. Wow. I don't know. I'm going to ask Lydia later. Hopefully she has more information. She's supposed to come see me later today. Yeah, she she should have information. Or or yeah. do you want me to call her in case she doesn't and have her find out when she's coming today? Um, she probably won't talk to me either, as shitty as Fred's been. Well, I know that that they had notified her, so she should, normally she tries to find things oh. out. Oh, okay. So they did notify her. That's why she's coming. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. He's gone. Poor Gabriel. Oh. <laughs> oh. I had to call you and tell you I'm sorry. I just... That's okay. No. Oh, I'm glad you did. I don't think there's anything I can do. <laughs> Could you shoot David an email, an extra email, and tell him what happened? Tell him I don't have any details, but I just found out that Adam passed away. Okay, I will. I just sent that email, like, literally a few minutes ago. So, but, yeah, I will. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> When was he in the hospital at the time, or you don't know any details don't know. at all? I don't know. Oh. I just can't believe it. He's gone. I know. Like, ugh. he's so young. Yeah, he wasn't even fifty yet. I'm hoping I'm supposed to talk to Lydia because I asked about how I get to it. I know because I know they'll let you sometimes you can get permission to attend the memorial service. Yeah. So I asked them about that and they said talk to Lydia. So I'm going to because I want to be there. Right. Yeah. I just can't believe it. <laughs> And these poor parents, all right? Oh, gosh, yes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's Gabriel. I, I'm seeing his obituary. Do you want me to read it? Okay. Yes, please. Go ahead. Oh, no, it says obituary is not available at this time. Okay, hang on. Let me try one of the other. Um, nope, it says it's not available. They've they've got you know that he passed away, but they don't have it. Uh, yeah. As far as I know, it just happened. So, um, let's see. I've got February eighth. What? That's, that's yeah, he passed yesterday. Away. Okay. That's the day before yesterday. Today's the tenth. And they just told me today. Yeah. Well, you know everything moves slow in the Department of Corrections. Yeah, it says the eighth. I think it says the eighth. But why did they not? They they should have tried to get his body released for cremation sooner too, wouldn't they? 
think. Maybe it was really late in the day, though, you know? Maybe it was, yeah. like, midnight, something like that. That could have been. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this is happening. Mm. You know, it is if you haven't done through enough. Do what? As if you haven't been through enough. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Try to get custody of you, Gabriel. Or, or they will get custody temporarily. Since they're the only grandparents available. Yeah. They already have guardianship of him. Adam didn't have guardianship because DHHS was trying to say that Adam had to have known something that was going on. So um, I don't think that'll change anything. I think it prevents them from terminating my rights, though, honestly. Because I'm always got. Looking at what? I'm all he's got other than his grandparents, and they're older. Right, right. As much mm-hmm. as I hate thinking about it that way, I think it helps that at least. Mm-hmm. Well, and there's your brother, right? Does Adam have brothers and sisters? He has one sister, but they live in Chicago, and they wouldn't want to be custodians. Would your brother? Huh. No. My brother never had kids because he didn't think he'd be a good dad. So, he put some to shove, would he? I mean, this is his nephew. Got to love he him. had to, yeah. He, cause when the thing happened in Oklahoma, he had Paul and Nolan. So, mm-hmm. if he had to, but as long as mom and dad brings it off for now, then it'll be them. Mm-hmm. But at least until things get settled with me. Mm-hmm. I just can't believe it. Mm. I can't either. Mm. I just need to know what happened because I thought he was doing better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I, could find, if I find anything later on today or anything, I'll email it to you. Yeah. Okay. At some point, somebody's going to put up his parents and probably going to do... You know, An obituary, be, yeah. Please. I'm surprised it was the eighth day yet. Yeah, well, maybe they're in shock, too, and they're like, yeah. you, know, to, you know, don't know whether they're supposed to or if you're, you know, yeah. they are probably kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, not knowing what to do exactly because you are his next next of kin, not them. Yeah, <laughs> well, I had to sign for his remains, so, right. Yeah, Sergeant notified me. Yeah. They called me. I was asleep. They were like, hey, I need you to step out. So I stepped out, and um, they came to the door and notified me, and then just came in, sat down with me for a few minutes. So. They've got um, tribute archives under the Grand Rapids Cremation Services um, on Plainfield in Grand Rapids. So, well, who yeah. who did you release the body from or to? I didn't look. Oh. I just signed it. They had it there. They're like, "Are you willing to sign this?" I said, "Yeah, absolutely." Parents, it should be a copy of it, I would think. I'll ask them after we get off. Yeah, because it's not too late to get a copy. Yeah, they probably have it back, so it's not like they're actually going to send it over. Hmm. So, I wonder, I wonder if we found out that he had leukemia, you know, months ago, or something, and they've been treating him, and they just didn't want to worry you. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's, from what it's, I understand, it was right around Christmas. Um, it's too much, so it doesn't usually kill you quick, you know? No. I mean, it's, it's, and it's, and there's lots of I wonder if he had it. another stroke. That could be. Maybe, maybe he was doing chemo or something and it, it didn't, they didn't work well together oh, in that. Issue. I hope I'll find out more from Lydia. Or yeah, that she I can think find out from me. 
he should, he should have a right to his medical records. Your yeah. Life. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't. Ever, wherever he's been birthed at all. Yeah. You know, well, his doctor, you should be able to write to him and get his medical records. Yeah. That's if we can find out. Where the down at Holland. That's where they took him a couple of spores, the hospital down in Holland. Mm. Why Holland? Because they live in West Olive. Oh, okay. I was thinking they lived in Muskegon. No, no, we were in Norton Shores, but they live in West Olive. Which is how far away? From here, about 20 miles. Yeah. Oh, okay. But Holland, the hospital is about 10 miles from the hospital. The Holland oh. hospital would be closer than the Muskegon hospital. I gotcha. Okay. Well, I can get you the address for Holland Hospital. Um, and records. Let me talk to Lydia first, and then I might get that from you. Okay. All right. Just let me find out for you. All right. Let me know what you need. Anything I can help with, I'll you know, be glad okay. to help. I mean, I'm Thanks waiting. for letting me call. Of course. So, anything. You know that. Yeah. So. I'll let you go. I just, oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. Huh? What, what time is is Lydia coming, do you know? They didn't know. They said she's coming this afternoon. They didn't know what time. Okay. Not soon enough, but that's not her fault. Huh? I said not soon enough because I want her here like now, but that's not her fault. Yeah. Well, and she might need time to find out the information that she can find out for you. Before she yeah. comes, so. yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, I'll let you go then. All right. I'll email um David and let him know. Okay. Thank you. Right. I love you. I love you too. All right. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. Hey, you. Hey. Is everything okay? Yeah. Why? Because I've sent you a few emails and haven't gotten a response. Really? Yeah. Uh, I haven't gotten them. Huh? I mean, I got I got some from you, but I responded, I think, to all of them. Oh, when? Oh when? Uh, it was like a week and a half ago, twice in a, one day, and then a couple times since then because I hadn't heard back. Okay, maybe I didn't reply back because I wasn't thinking, I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, I'll look back through them and see if I look. I had weird, um, a couple times, like, all of a sudden a bunch came through at once. And okay. then, and then I looked them all. Then the next time I went in there, it highlighted them again like I hadn't looked at them. So, I don't huh. know. Weird I was just anyways. worried I said something upset you. I was like, oh my gosh. No, no. I didn't can't, think so. You can't I was offend like... me. Uh-huh. Even if you do, it doesn't. Yeah. Do you think that matters to me? No. no I was just freaking no. out. So um, yeah, they put no. off my trial again. Well, last time I talked to you was like November. December twelfth. Oh jeez. Okay. Yeah. Why do they keep putting it off? Well, this time apparently there's a two week a trial that could, um, was originally scheduled for one week, but they decided it's going to go two weeks, and it was it started was set to start the week before mine was in November, so they bumped us because it took priority. But the judge supposedly said this is the last time they're bumping anything um, because they're, by December, it'll be 17 months I've been here and 18 months of speedy trial violation. Oh. So, judge told the attorneys, this is it. We're not bumping this again. How the hell is 18 months speedy fucking trial? Give me I have no clue. I've been here 15 months today, so That's I'm like crazy. freaking out. I got to schedule us a call. Yes, please. So I was uh, <laughs> I was running the other morning trying to get the garbage out, and it was raining, and I hated uh-huh. you know, the cold rain. And yeah. I slipped in the mud and cracked oh. my head on the a tire rim, <clears throat> oh, no. one of my roommate's tire rims. Went to urgent. I mean, it blew up right away. Like, uh, not a bruise on me. I mean, it was bumped way out, but not a, yeah. it never bruised. Now I'm getting the black eyes, though. 
So, and this was like this was like two days, three days ago. Oh geez. So <clears throat> I'm just now getting black eyes. Oh, well, no need for no need for uh, eyeshadow. Got a lovely purple going on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no running in the rain in the dark. Oh gosh. Yuck. So 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 um, did I send you money? No, you didn't. Okay, I well, know you I did a little like bit. You did a little bit, and then bucks. you offered okay. to send more. Yeah, and then I okay. responded, but and you didn't yet. So, how much was it? Uh, you had offered five bucks or something. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I got to go back out and do that then. I yeah. get confused sometimes whether I sent did I send Carl money? Did I send her money? I don't <laughs> remember. <laughs> okay. All right. So seventy five will cover that shit. Um, it covers most of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's yeah, the thing we want to cover they it. take half of it. They take half of it. Then they give me half, and I can go ahead and order the long johns with the rest. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right. Good. We'll do that. Yeah. That works. That works And they're supposed okay. to be changing my meds here soon because the meds haven't been working. So they're supposed to switch my – so, but they – I mean, I met with Health West Thursday, I think it was, and they still haven't – no, Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday, anyway. And I still haven't switched to my jet. It's like, come on, guys. Yeah, they don't do anything. Which is assistant? No, they don't. So, but geez, I went to see Lachlan today. He's still in the hospital. He's got. They identify that he's got pseudomonas. Uh-huh. Pseudomonas is a nasty, really. I mean, the shit can kill you. He's got. He's septic from it. From it. Oh wow. And um, pseudomonas is like the stuff you get. Like, if ever you leave a flower, a bunch of flowers in a vase too long, and they smell really bad, and they're green. Yeah. That's that's pseudomonas. Oh wow. And you yeah. have one minute left. Yeah, in the body it does bad things. But anyway, oh. they've identified it and they've got an antibiotic going in him and okay. an antifungal and shit. So hopefully it'll be better soon. So I'm praying for him. Thank you. I'll try and uh, I'll try and schedule with something for in the morning. Okay. I don't I'll know order. if I can tonight or not, but we'll try. You should be able to. Unless it's taken okay. already, which it's not going to be in my pod. It shouldn't be, yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank All you right. so much. All right. I love you, sis. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. The caller has... Hello. Hello, Evelyn? Yeah. Hi. It's Shonda. Um, I was just calling for Taya because I had a little bit of money on my account. Um, she was wondering, she, uh, Taya said, can you please go tomorrow and get some money from his dad and put it on his account? Yeah, tell her I'm going to try. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much. You have a great night. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.